I am so excited. On Tuesday, history was made in the state of Michigan when this man, Garland Gilcrest, became our state's very first African-American lieutenant governor. And for the NAACP chapter in Saginaw, it was encouraging not only to see his victory, but the number of black voters who came out to the polls. Well, I'm elated whenever we see the kind of representation that we'll get from this young man. And we worked hard all year long in the community to make sure that what happened the other day happened. But history was also made closer to home in mid-Michigan when newly elected city council member Bill Ostash became Saginaw's first openly gay member. It's a victory for the LGBTQ community, which also saw new Attorney General Dana Nessel become the first openly gay person to hold statewide office in Michigan. The answer I have to that, too, is is now we have that representation, right? Um, our city council, if you look at city council right now, is built. we have nine people. Uh, we have four, four women that are on the council, which is awesome. And then we have four millennials, and then myself. So we're, we're kind of bringing those voices to the table. But Ostash is making more than just history. He's also trying to preserve it through Saginaw's older buildings, such as this former apartment complex on Millard and Jefferson, just one of many projects he's looking to restore. Because a lot of people look at a building like this and it's just, oh, that's just ugly, we need to tear it down. But if, if you can rethink that, it's like, what could it be? And moving forward, both Williams and Ostash say Saginaw has come far in terms of diversity, but that there's still more to be done. I would think it is growing, but we still have a long ways to go. We're still missing something, and and that's from the Hispanic community. We have a large Hispanic community in Saginaw, and so it would be great because we could just get that on the council as well. In Saginaw, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM-TV5.